Let's have a look at this Grey's Anatomy episode. Let me know what you think of these chest compressions. So, if you just have a look at that, hardly moving the hands on the chest. There is no movement of the chest wall. There is no movement occurring of the upper body that is required in chest compressions. You wouldn't be able to resuscitate a fly or a rat with this. This is quite abysmal actually, especially even for a television program. It can give the false presumption of uh, how it things should be done. This is actually a really poor representative of how to do chest compressions. So ideally, you have to be standing over the patient. You have to be having your hands in the middle of the sternum, applying direct force down. Then you have to be going at a decent rate, which is about 100 to 120 compressions per minute. And then you have to be compressing to at least two inches, which is about five centimeters depth of the chest. None of these things are happening here. This would be completely ineffective. Yes, it's a TV show, but you can use models. This show is turning around millions and yet they are standing this far back and doing this, essentially waving. Absolutely terrible. I used to like Grey's Anatomy, but this is just junk. This is not even worth watching. The other thing is, if the bed is too high or you're too short, then you either need to get a stool to be able to stand up so that you can be standing above the patient so that you can apply direct pressure down. What I don't get with this show is that they get the surgical environment, the look and aesthetics of the hospital correct. But even the procedures and some of the surgeries that they're doing are so realistic. But when it comes to this, the key thing that actually potentially could save someone's life, that someone could learn through basic life support, obviously you'd be taught properly, but you would just hope they would be shown at least to a basic standard. Watch my other videos to do with basic life support, chest compressions and things like that. My name is Dr. Singh, I'm your emergency medicine specialist. Subscribe and follow for more. Thanks for watching.